A monochromatic color scheme is all of the tints and values of one color. It's like your value scales. And it's taking that one color and you create all of these different values and you can paint them in more than one place and you use the color straight as well. You can use your white and your black as well. And you're gonna paint, uh, do your mixing and you still have the same rule where you always do your lighter color first Try to remember just to dip your brush in and not dig it in so that all of that paint ends up on the quick of the brush. That just creates a lot of extra mess for you. And you can decide how big or how um, much of these spaces that you want. One of the things you have to be aware of is some of your areas you will paint and just straight paint and you won't have any trouble with it. Areas like this one where you have shapes with in a space, you're gonna to wanna to paint the background first, and you're gonna to want to probably pick something that is a solid color and not something you have to mix, so you don't have to worry about not having enough paint. And then if you're painting and your paint is too thin, then it probably just needs to be uh, stirred up a little bit, unless you have a different kind of paint. It just varies, but it shouldn't be see-through because it's acrylic. And you will want to use your square brushes so that you pull a nice line. And you'll paint again. If you're working with areas that have shapes within spaces, then you'll do your background first. You always do the background first. So because this is a very large space, I chose just to go with my straight color to put it into this section and not worry about trying to mix anything. And you see that I had a little black somehow on there and you just make sure your paint is smooth and even because you can't always paint in one direction it depends on your area that you're working in you don't want to have a lot of those little ridges left of your paint and then when it and you don't have to wait for it to dry to paint next to it either and then as you're um, moving on to your next area then this is where you're going to be doing your tints and your values of that color along with the shades of that color, all the different values. All right, so just so that you have the idea. Now, when you're doing your tints, you already know how you can take your color and you can place it on your mixing surface and then get a lighter value, like with your value scales. And then I would paint that where you want it to go. Um, this is another area, actually, I really, if I'm gonna paint that, I need to do the background first. Now, it's not that it's wrong to paint the object, it just saves you a lot of time because you have to paint around those objects so it's easier to have your background done first. And then when you paint your object or your shape, it's easier because it will look like it's sitting into that uh, area. And this is really important if you're doing any kind of landscapes or still lifes, you always set up your background first or your draw, uh, painting objects, like some kind of little animal, stuffed animal or some kind of animal that you may have or object. So then, then when I come in here, that had something wrong with it then I'll be able to swing that around and I won't have to worry about protecting it if I'm painting my background after that so it's just so much easier and faster so always work smarter not harder now my background was wet so that happens and I pick that up and then I'm already out of the paint I'm gonna add a little edge to that and you can come back over it with your um, acrylic after it dries if you wanna change it. And then you have to do the same thing. You have to mix, well, good thing I'm using acrylic so I can fix that. And then the same thing, you may wanna put your black on your surface you're mixing on so that you can then add it into your color. And um, because I've already painted that area, I'm gonna paint this one 
here, and yes, I should have the background finished, but for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna do all that. And remember, no see-through paint. Make it nice and solid, make it smooth and even. And then you have your different sizes of brush that you can use to make smaller areas if you need to go around different things. And then you will create all these different tints and values of whatever color that you chose.